solve applications with proportions. I love proportions, they're so much fun. So first off, remember that a proportion is a comparison of two ratios. So we generally have ratio one, whatever it may be, and it's going to equal ratio, uh, the second ratio. Now to solve these, we generally cross multiply. So B times C equals A times D. This will allow us, as long as we know three of the four pieces, we can cross multiply to find the fourth, fourth piece. Setting up is important. So the exchange rate is one Mexican peso is equal to 0 0.049 US dollar. If someone has 120 US dollars, how many Mexican pesos is that? Round to the nearest whole number. Okay, so when I'm setting up these types of problems and I see that we're comparing, right? I know that we are comparing Mexican pesos to US dollars. Okay, so the first ratio, one Mexican peso is, oh, 0 0.049. So I can put 1 over 0 0.049. Make sure Mexican peso has got to be on the top, right? That's where I've labeled that. So the second one, I have 120 US dollars. Well, US is in the denominator, so 120 comes to the bottom, and that means we're finding the unknown Mexican pesos in the numerator. You have to make sure you are staying consistent, right? All Mexican pesos on the top, all US dollars on the bottom. Now, when you are setting up proportions, there are um, multiple ways of setting these up correctly. As long as you are being consistent, that is what matters. So I like to put labels, right? Mexican pesos on top, US dollars on the bottom, so that I have a visual letting me know of where to put the appropriate values. And now to solve this, I cross multiply. 0 0.049x equals, 120 times 1, which is 120. To solve for x, we're going to divide by the coefficient. So remember, the coefficient is the number in front of the variable. So we divide by 0 0.049. Now when we do that, we end up with just x on the left, and 120 divided by 0 0.049 is 2448.979 and just goes on and on and on. Now we are rounding to the nearest whole number. So if I look one place past, that nine tells me to round up. So I'm gonna end up with 2,449 Mexican pesos. Okay, that's dealing with the exchange rate, which changes all the time. So this may already be out of uh, use. All right, let's go to some uh, good stuff here. A 12 ounce can of Coke has 140 calories and a lot of tasty goodness. How many calories are in a 44 ounce cup of Coke, right? Let's talk about the big gulp. Well, we can round this also to the nearest whole number. Okay, so what are we talking about? We are comparing my one ratio, right? I'm talking about ounces compared to calories. So I know that in one can, one can is 12 ounces and it's 140 calories and a lot of tasty goodness, but that's not in the proportion. Then I look at what else we have and we have a 44 ounce cup, right? We've got the big gulp. So ounces in the, is in the numerator. So 44 is up here and we're trying to find how many calories. Now we know 12 compared to 44, looking at this numerator here, it's getting bigger. So that means my denominator is also going to be getting bigger. Make sure you're just paying attention to those simple things that are going to help you uh, make sure that your answer makes sense. So let's go ahead and Cross multiply. So 12 times x, 44 times 140 gives me 6,160. We divide both sides by 12 to get x by itself, and I end up with 513.333. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. When I round to the nearest whole number, I look one place past, three tells me to round down. So it's just 513 calories in that big gulp of 44 ounces of tasty, wonderful Coca-Cola Classic.